is a managing director of Kazingo Hospital Limited, Bhubaneswar. He is one of the pioneers of the state of the art multi specialty hospital committed to provide compassionate health care and affordable costs to the people of Odisha and adjoining region. Ms. Mukherjee is the core team member of strategy, planning, and business development of Kalinga Hospital LPD, as well as the core committee member of Indian Chamber of Commerce, ICC, Odisha chapter, in the health committee of ICC and CII, the Confederation of Indian, uh, Indian Industry. <coughs> Ms. Mukherjee is the state secretary of AHPI, that is Association Healthcare Provider of India Odisha chapter. I, on behalf of my IIT fellow members, welcome you, madam. I am so glad that you are here in spite of your busy schedule and you managed to come here. I am so pleased to see you, madam. I also um, welcome two speakers. They are very close to me. One is Binay Binakar, cardiologist, other one is Chaturmali Mitra. Neurosurgeon. Vinay Vinaka is going to tell us about the heart, how the heart moves the body. And Chandravali Mukherjee, uh, Chandravali uh, Mitra is going to tell us about uh, stereotaxic, um, stereotaxic uh, treatment on the neurosurgery. I'm sure. Has been a part, will be a part of the anime for decades to come. That is my promise today on behalf of my chairman. Kalinga Hospital has been the oldest corporate hospital that everybody knows. But it was going through certain ups and downs that also we know. Now as an administrator, as I stand here and has been working for 20 years in different hospitals, both internationally acclaimed and nationally acclaimed, why Kalinga Hospital went through the ups and downs is something which I would pass on the message to all of you today. Somewhere when I was offered this job by our chairman to head Kalinga Hospital, today we have a Herculean task to bring back its past glory. And almost every doctor today, eminent doctors of different corporate hospitals, sometime or the other have been working with Kalinga Hospital because they believed in the mission. Now, it has been done by the Oriyas, has been run by the Oriyas and still now it is standing up because the state is supporting it. That is the vision which I would like to put forward here. That each and every corporate hospitals which you see today in India, be it Fortis, be it Vedanta, be it Max, be it Manipal, are being funded by international funding companies. And most of these hospitals are getting sold to the international funding companies because sustainability of a hospital is a major concern today. Healthcare is expensive, whereas people do not have the money or the means to spend so much. Government has its own limitations. But hospitals of the state, like Kalinga Hospital, by the people of the state, is they, they need the support. And this downfall of Kalinga happened because somewhere we also got floored by the international funding company. So today as an administrator, my voice to the government, to the eminent doctors here is healthcare needs your support. And healthcare needs a total revamp where we need to support our own industrialists who are investing money on the hospitals and the industrialists who invest, Indian industrialists who are investing money for healthcare should get subsidy and should get certain privileges for the government so that India is self-sustaining in the healthcare industry and we are not bought over by the international funding company. This is kind of a colonialism which is happening in the healthcare sector and that is my message today that we should actually join hands and with a forum like IMA where we should get, the healthcare industry should get certain privileges because that is what is the need of the hour. Today IMA has got a tremendous presence in the whole country. We could see the Rajasthan chapter, how IMA fought through 
I met Dr. Sharad Agarwal the other day in Jaipur. Uh, he's the national president. I have worked with him personally. And I think this forum could be one very strong voice which would state that India has to be self-sustaining in healthcare. That is my message tonight. And as Kalinga Hospital, we will come back to glory and we will serve the state and an affordable healthcare platform. Thank you very much. Thank you.